So when you think of BeamMG, you probably don't think of Rally, you probably think of Crunch. But as I keep trying to tell you guys, BeamMG is so much more than that. In fact, I think it's fair to say that BeamMG probably has one of the most accurate off-road simulation models that there is anywhere. Even better than a Richard Burns Rally. So in today's video, I'm gonna do something that I don't often do and treat BeamMG as seriously as possible. And to do that, we're gonna take on one of the most popular rally stage mods in BeamMG, which is part of the PJ's Drift and Rally mod, which I'll put down below in the description. So we're on the Italy map, and if you check out on the bottom of the screen there, we're gonna be trying out the DZ Rally Behemoth stage, which is every rally stage from the Italy map combined into one big terrible ball of torture. And as such, we're gonna need a car that is up to the task. This is the Hirachi Sunburst, one of my favorite cars to drive on dirt in BMG. It's about 280 horsepower, so sequential gearbox, four wheel drive. So um, it's enough power to get you in trouble, but also not enough that when you touch the throttle, you just explode. Now, one thing you're gonna notice straight away is we don't actually have any pace notes. So this is gonna be a lot of gas work, but anyway, we are away and immediately onto a tarmac section. Now we're on the, the gravel setup car, so it's pretty pretty tall, it's pretty soft. It's not gonna do very well on this tarmac section. So really this is just me trying to survive and keep the car in one piece. Using the handbrake nicely there, I'm not hitting anything. And already I'm feeling the danger that comes with doing anything in Beam MG. Of course, we often praise games like Richard Burns Rally for being unforgiving, but this is a whole new level. Make a mistake in this, you just lose basically half your car, as you kind of would in real life. So driving with a de degree of caution, just a, just a little bit, you know. I say that as we hit 100 mile an hour over a jump. Oh, heavy landing, heavy, heavy landing. We can't really sustain too many of those. Why am I doing this video today? Because it seems that kind of cyclical. Every, time, every now and then I come back to BMG, say it's a great rally title and don't play it for a while. As I go off into the bushes, hello bushes. It's me. But, but for me, BMG is the game of unrealized potential. Do I stop here? Yes. Break a lot, break a lot, break a lot. Oh my god. It's one of those games where I feel like if the devs just went, hey, let's just make BMG Rally as an actual part of this game, actual title of this game, it would do very well indeed. Oh my god, that was terrifyingly close. There's so much in this game that just lends itself to that sort of experience. See, uh, amazingly detailed damage model which when you put a car into a tree you you know about it <laughs> you ain't coming out of that tree to so the way this thing handles you can throw it about with the handbrake here and on this gravel tire as well you do feel like you don't have that grip on time like it feels like it's floating about as you would uh, sort of imagine to as the tread moves around underneath you and whilst the four seat back, to me, I have it set fairly low in this game for self-preservation reasons. Yeah, it does enough to let you know what the car is doing. It feels intuitive. It always has done. So why can't there be more? It's like the big frustration for me. I would love to see so much more in this. Uh, for those wondering, there is actually a, um, a co-driver mod for this, but I was too lazy to get it working properly. <laughs> I've got nothing else to say apart from that. Really, sorry. Oh, God big hits. I love that I can see the uh, the bonnet there flex, or the hood if you're so inclined, flex at the front of the car. It makes me really feel like I'm in this destructible object. And that's something that I think that if we look at the recent EAWRC title, I, I really like that game, but it just lacks that level of scariness that I just experienced. Come on, bro. Okay, we're good. Oh no, we're not good. Please stop. Please stop. What do I do here? Nice and easy now. Nice and easy. Use momentum. Come on. Holy hell. See what I mean? Those moments are genuinely terrifying in <laughs> BMG. You think, right, that's it. Run's dead. And also, I'm dead. It's just cool, this. Oh my god. Oh my god. And enough. Please survive. Please survive. Right, okay. That didn't go to plan. Maybe we can self-write the car. Unbeknownst to you guys, I am the, just the strongest guy in the universe. Well, where can I grab this bot? That ain't too bad, you know. I've seen worse. Let's just make a couple of repairs quick. We're gonna start. 
Guys, we're still in business. Car's good, I think. And so now we've got to deal with that damage. We've got to deal with the fact our car's limping a little bit and get through the rest of this stage. This is what I'm talking about. This is what modern rally games are just missing. Like there, there are parts of my car that aren't there anymore and I can't just hit reset and go back and get them. Well, I can do that, but I'm not going to. But I've got to try and continue the stage and this is something so... Something that BMW it just does that better. It just does that better than other titles and I can't really explain why. Probably because of just how detailed that that damage model is. And that's the thing of BMG is it's almost its own worst enemy in that case. The game is so good at doing all that silly stuff and I love the silly stuff. This sort of stuff as well, I mean, just has an equal... People should be taking this seriously, you know? This part of it anyway. Oh my god, it's not easy to drive like this. Yep, that was a big bunda slap. Uh, car's straight though. I'm not going to look at the rear, it's fine. Oh, these little city bits are so cool. And then we get onto the uh, onto the cobbles now and the car just doesn't do anything well anymore. Oh my god. Come on, guy. This is such a cool bit of stage. Oh no. No. Oh, I don't. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. He's, he's all right from this angle. Oh, that's the big one. How <laughs> the wheel is there? Right, wheel's back, chat. We're, we're, we're back. We're so back. We're so back. Stay there, Mr. Wheel. No. Okay. Well, that's gone. It's got limited movement now. Oh, it's still set. <laughs> It's not too bad, actually. I've seen so many old rally videos where the guys are just limping this absolute toasted box back to the services. I'm going to pull over for a second because I can't see where I'm going. I'm going to have to make some repairs quick. That's made that worse. Bro's got the Salvador Dali gauges. You just can't... Can't get those anywhere else. Oh, no. So I might have forgotten that when I brake and try and turn, all my weight goes onto the bit where there's no wheel. Can I handbrake this? No. Listen to all those really horrible noises. Come on. They hit that. Through the left turns, I'm amazing. That's how good I am through the left turns. Through the right turns, not so much. Oh my god. How much more can this guy... Front left tyre broken? I know it's broken. I've not got one. This challenge has become very difficult all of a sudden. And I can't think why. Almost because I'm still trying to drive the car quickly when I'm missing some quite vital components. Brake coming up. Oh, back onto gravel. That's not good. Oh, all good. Actually, gravel might help us a bit. I'm about to slide the car a bit easier. Just these right hands. We'll be so careful. These big old rocks. No, 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 no. That's a big drop. No, please. And I get this about my use of my strong man. Oh, no, 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 so guys, the good news, the good news is we got it out of the pit. The bad news is it's not quite as in good a condition as it was before. Um, does it even start? Of course it does. And that no exhaust noise, you know. I, I'm just going for the straight pipe mod. Does it still go? Uh, so yeah, I mean, through wasn't really my fault let's be honest uh, I, it, it got broke pretty bad so um the only way to get another car is to start again so that's what i did i grabbed myself another unsuspecting hirachi sunburst and set off again to try and get to the point where i died previously this time being careful not to lose those pesky wheels on the way which is still a little bit further back than we actually got to last time but we're we're nearly there now with a car that actually kind of moves which is good Is it okay? Damn it! Right, okay, we're onto the gravel now. We're actually approaching where we made it to last time with three wheels. 
let's just be nice and easy for it. There's no, there's no rush. There's no rush to fall off into oblivion again. Wasn't a fan of that last time. I, I gotta be honest with you guys. This is the exact place we died. And now we've got beyond. Finally, progress. Even though I've got the old the joinky spoinky front wheels at the moment. This is where like this feels like a proper trial now. Like like a safari rally almost. Oh my god, the wheel is all over the place. Handbrake is smooth though in this. I do like it. Like an absolute ball look. You can get it right, it's so easy. Right, okay. Back onto tarmac. At least here, we have a consistent surface. But again, we make a mistake, we're going off. That wall isn't going to stop us. This is so challenging, though, and it really makes you think about how, like, the longevity of the car. I think in some situations, the car maybe is a little bit too fragile. We're cruising through the stage now, just in hope of, uh, of making it. Oh my god. So it's like Jeopardy here as well. Maybe if I hit the car in the right way, I'll straighten it out again. That's the sort of mindset that gets you in a big crash, I think. Any fast corner, I'm basically just taking kind of quite slow because I'm not sure how the car's going to react when that the weight loads up on either side. Climbing again. Oh, my God. No! Oh, this is terrifying. I think I've broken it a bit more now. It was just a little one. There's a little nibble as well. Oh my god, the steering wheel. That's not me moving the wheel. That's the car moving the wheel. The focus face has come out now. Are we anywhere near the end? Please. Look, my car is not well. Nor am I. I feel like we make good progress around this island. If anything. I'll turn, please. It's really hesitating now. Like The steering feels like it it feels like, for those of you at home who have Logitech wheels, like the G25, G27, G29, it feels like the clunkiness of that wheel was turned up to like a billion percent. I've got the big clunkers in the wheel right now because of how bad my steering is damaged. This looks promising. Is this near the end? I don't think it is. I think it's... Oh, are we going back down again? No, there's more! We're going back down! Oh, I thought we were near the end. Narrator. He was not near. His suffering had just begun. Oh, for the look of this. <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> a nice watery grave facing me on the left there. That seems quite appealing right now, actually. A bit of watery grave me. Oh, my God. Tarmac. I've never been so happy to see tarmac in my life. I don't know if I mentioned as well, but this car doesn't have any ABS or anything. So, it's quite easy to lock the brakes, and when all the, the wheels are pointing in different directions, the brakes are even more likely to lock up. Can okay, I not get in that contact patch? They're just free spinning, basically, or these, these tyres, so it makes life a little bit more tricky. But, ge but genuinely, like, like, I, I know I keep going on about it, but the feeling of jeopardy is real right now. It feels like there's ri almost like there's risk involved in what I'm doing. Not real risk you know what i mean it's the risk of time <laughs> where you where you making me go oh not that's very very narrow oh there's big water there i've been in that big water before i don't want to go don't hit the oh my god i, I hit the I hit the side my wheel okay i'd go faster but i have no confidence to do so right now zero how is there more how much is there? I just want it to be over. Tighten on my sex tape. I feel like this is the sort of stage that if you just get through, it's an achievement. Do you know what I mean? Now, I'd love to see someone actually attack this thing properly and see how they... No, please. Oh, my God. My life flashed for my eyes there. If I had not let go of the brake, I would have went I would have went over. How good is this, though, man? I mean, I know I'm sitting here, like, sweating, sweating bullets right now and trying to survive the thing, but... This is in Beam MG. It's, it's almost like it's hidden. You know what I mean? Hidden in plain sight. There's no other rallying experience that makes you feel like this. One, it feels like I'm on genuine roads, because I kind of am, you know. It's just uh, roads that have been blocked off and not a stage that's been mapped out. Oh, my God. And two, everything feels, I guess, real. You know, every little tree, every bit of barrier there, anything is waiting just to receive you. And... It feels like a truly like, oh, not, 
I guess it's a static environment, but it doesn't feel static. It feels dynamic through that. You can approach it in any way, and the, the reaction of your car to the environment depends on a billion different factors. Basically, make, makes it so the experience is different every time. Hey, remember that point when I was at the top of this mountain and I thought it was over? Remember that? Remember that? I remember that. That was great, wasn't it? That was a good, good time for us. It's starting to get a bit impetuous, and I've got to be careful because the car can't really take it, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh my god, I actually closed my eyes there, I think. Out of fear for the end. What we're saying is PMG, you know, it, it really makes you feel human. <laughs> Makes you feel vulnerable, PMG. You want to leave thinking, you know what? Life is finite. <laughs> and I am quite vulnerable <laughs> as a human being. <laughs> the PMG experience. Oh god, am I nearly there? I'm sweating so much. <laughs> My car is broken. I require repairs. And a bottle of your strongest amaretto or whatever the hell you've got. Well, what's the Italy drink? I don't know. Just give me some drink. <laughs> Oh no! Stop it! No! Look at this. Look, now there's your problem. That'll be our problem right there. It's just completely like the assembly's bent and broken. We're still trying. We're still giving it our all in the little guy. Oh my god. This is the bit that's designed to really ruin your day. Don't ruin my day. Italian village. Oh, be cool. Be cool. Be cool. What do you mean? What do you mean there's more? Oh my God. It's almost like driving a Saints with the Bayam off. You know, I, I couldn't have foreseen it, this being the case. I, I, there's no way. Oh my God, that's, a, that's too fast. Oh my Jesus Christ, I, I nearly... I nearly just like shit myself there out of fear. Fear response. Oh, I know this one. This is like the hill climb in reverse. I've driven this before. I used to do um, hill climb challenges up here a long time ago with cars I built on automation. But the other way, it's easier going uphill. I've got to deal with the uh, rear of the car trying to kill you every corner. Life is good, we're fine. Imagine if my car worked. Imagine how good it would be if my car actually worked. It can't, can't be me. It cannot physically be me. Guys, I've been up and down the mountains. I've been coast to coast here. Literally the entirety of Italy has been covered in this video. Literally all of it. When do I get to sleep? When does it end? I was like, oh, you know what? I've been unwell for a while. I have a nice, easy video to come back to. Night. What, 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 what is this? Yeah, slow down, slow down. Jimmy. Sometimes, no, I, I, got, I, got, I got that dog in me, man, you know, I gotta go fast. But I also want to go alive, so go fast, go alive, it's, it's, they don't go hand in hand. Rear right wheel took a bit of a pound in there, but unlike that loser front left wheel, that's actually got a bit of a backbone to it, so it survived. Imagine being a spectator of this rally and seeing this guy just in tears. <laughs> His beating up rally car, just, I want to go home. That's, that's the vibe I'm bringing to this event. But I love how all these issues with like the suspension and whatnot translates to how the car drives and how it feels in the wheel as well. It's not like, oh, you just have this random suspension damage that means you pull to the left side. It's, oh, your car is, the assembly is physically moving. There's now play in it. And you can kind of, you can feel it, feel it move around. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just imagining in my head, if I crash now, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can start again. I don't think I've got it in me. Yeah, I've bought a priceless rally car and I'm gonna go rallying, but I don't want to damage my rally car. Style of driving. So that dog in me I was talking about, turns out it's like a chihuahua. <laughs> it's all bark and no bite. Oh my God, why is this, why is this section here? Oh, look how tight that is. Don't touch anything. Good, 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 great, 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 great. Fantastic, brilliant, cool, 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 cool. Bank. 
Oh. It's still going. Don't. I don't want to go back up again. Genuinely, where is the end? I, I, I wish I looked on the map. Am I far? I, 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 I can't be far now. There has to be some sort of respite soon for Broadbent. Just let me die, game. Mercy kill, you know. Oh my god, the card doesn't do anything really anymore. Don't go forward in a straight line quick. Oh, that's too quick. No! I think I improved it. I think I actually made it better. <laughs> I made it better! Oh no. Okay, don't break so well now. Uh, did that make it better? I don't know. It felt like I did for a second there. But you were seeing just kind of, I guess, how on edge this thing is. But as soon as you start to think, oh yeah, I can do something, it doesn't work. Also, I want a gravel. Maybe I should have taken a tarmac car. It would have probably done better than this. No. No, ooh, little bingo there on the wall. the end 38 minutes that <laughs> why did no one tell me when i started that was gonna be that way well we survived but i guess i have to ask at what cost my sanity is gone how's the car looking the car has seen better days but given that we did finally get to the end in what i think is one of the longest stages of bmg there's only one thing left to do isn't it peaceful isn't it nice i think that's high enough But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button and I very much appreciate you subscribing as well. We're going for that big one milli this year. Maybe we'll get there. Who knows? A massive thank you as always to my channel members and patrons. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you for the next one. It won't be rally. <laughs>